Hello! Cheeky Chili Putty is back in the kitchen again and this time I'm going to introduce you to another local dish. Have any of you heard of nasi ulam? Nasi ulam is a rice a salad with some fresh herbs. Actually, up to about a couple of weeks ago, I had no idea that that dish existed. I know, right? Very ignorant. And what got me really excited about this dish is local herbs. Let me introduce you to a few of them. Pep uh, minced leaves, the lemongrass, fresh turmeric, the orangey root as opposed to the old ginger or the young ginger. And it adds a nice colour to the salad. Purple onion goes in too. You can use this or you can use the smaller shallots as well. Uh, both are adding like a mild sweetness to the salad. Thai basil and I've been taught to kind of notice, uh, uh, kind of pick it out by its little purple flower bushes. This would look different from the normal uh, Ang Moh type of basil. Thai basil, there's this normal one, but there's also peppery holy basil as well as lemon basil. And you can smell it, you know, when you go to the markets, if you, you're not sure, just squeeze it a little bit to, re to release the essential oils like this. Yeah, and you sniff it, oh, and the water, that's really very strong already, yeah? You probably recognize kaffir lime too. The leaves are quite stiff, uh, very citrusy, limey. Uh, kind of flavor. Be careful though, kaffir lime uh, branches actually got pretty fierce thorns, so watch out for that. Laksa leaves. Now, you cannot miss out laksa leaves just by the sheer smell of it. Okay, so if you're not sure, squeeze it, smell, and immediately you're reminded of the coconut laksa. Uh, what I'm interested in, in putting in is this vegetable here. It's called the kacang boto or the four wing bean. And you see the cross section, you can tell, uh, yeah, it, it is a four wing, yeah. So we're going to be putting that in. This really pretty flower is the wild ginger flower or what some people call the rojak flower because this is a signature to all good uh, Chinese rojak. Well, this interesting leaf we call the betel nut leaf. And you can see it's such a pretty leaf. I'm gonna bring it closer a bit. Uh, when I was growing up, I, I used to learn about how people would uh, take this and then wrap the betel nut inside. It's a red kind of thing, right? And you pop it in your mouth and you chew it, chew it, chew it. And that's why sometimes uh, old, older people have got like red stain kind of uh, teeth. It's because they're chewing the betel nut together with this with, with the leaf. But didn't know that actually this has got a pretty interesting uh, flavor to it. The turmeric leaf, or some people call this the daun kunyit. Um, I have to admit that these leaves are not really very good um, bec just because I went to the market late. Look out for the really deep coloured ones and that's when the, the flavours will come out. But we're going to try all of this together in the nasi ulam and it will be for me a bit of a mutation because I'm not going to be using rice, I'm going to be using thick bihun. So let's get on with it. I cut the wild ginger flower. So for this, you just cut off the main stem which you don't really need. So I cut it down somewhere in the middle. Yeah. So let's just cut it down all the way to the middle. Okay, and you can see uh, the inside looks like this. Yeah, very pretty petals, but the center white portion you don't really need. So here is where it's a good time to just cut away on the inside. Nobody can see this, but yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm cutting away the inside, the white bits, because you're not going to get much from there. Yeah, and what's left is you just slice it very thinly and very finely. So what you do is you take the biggest leaves. So in this case, it's two uh, of the turmeric leaves that I'm kind of laying out like a like a like a little sheet here. So it's two turmeric leaves and then take the 10 betel nut, uh, betel nut leaves. So you kind of lay it out roughly. I mean, it doesn't have to be pretty. You're going to size everything out every day. So I'm just trying to get it into a, a nice roll. So that's the 10 leaves there. Next, you're going to put in the kaffir lime leaves. So there's six of these. So uh, I learned a fast way to tear kaffir lime leaves. Is basically you grab the the leaf ends and you just pull out the, the coarse middle stem there so you don't get all the woody woody things to chew on, right? So cuff your line leaves here. So that's six all together. Uh, about two to three stalks worth of Assam leaves which are also going to be 
spread out here. Yep. And another two to three stalks worth of Thai basil. Fresh Thai basil. Just tear off the leaves, you know, and uh, yeah, just get it on like that. So once it's like this, what you do is, I'm going to try and show you. Just try to look at the camera. So you're trying to roll it up into this, into this tight, tight little cigar. Yeah, so try and make it yeah, as tight as possible. Because then, you know, you build it. Slice it up. So, Alright. Okay, pushing it more to the center. Okay, so we're getting like a nice tight cigar. I hope you can see this. Yeah, so this is our cigar. You cut on the diagonal. So, uh, you want it fine. Yeah, and so cut and dial across. And then just keep slicing these small little... So what you want to do is you want to get, oh my gosh, you know, as I cut this right, the essential oils are just coming out, oh, and you can smell straight away all these different flavors coming out from the leaves. Gosh, it's gorgeous. Okay, so the idea is you want to cut as fine as possible, but watch your fingers, okay? Um, I've been scolded many times for not being very safe when it comes to the knife, so I'm trying my best to do this without uh, giving you a heart attack. Okay, roasted coconut goes into the salad as well. So this is fresh uh, grated coconut. So what I've done is I've taken a handful and just thrown it into a pan under low heat to roast it. So now you see the coconut has been roasted. It's turned quite visibly darker. So what you're looking for is like a bit brownish. Uh, maybe not as brown as all of this, but yeah, just a lighter brown. Assembly time! Orange turmeric has already been shredded and put in the mixing bowl first. Any order actually, but here we have the lemongrass, right, that's been sliced really finely. So this is about one lemongrass, toss it in. Uh, I, the rojak flower or the wild ginger flower, see that lovely pink colour that's also going to go in, right. So I love it also because of all the different colours that are going in. Maybe about a handful of uh, purple, it's finely sliced purple onions. So that's about a handful, it's going to go in there too. Oh, lovely colours. Don't forget the, oh, the lovely mixture of all the different finely sliced herbs that's going to go into this mixture. That's it. Mix it up. You'll add in about two heaped tablespoons of the desiccated coconut and uh, belachan mix. Yeah, so that's going in one and two. Mix it together, okay. Add in two handfuls of thick bihun. So this is where we start deviating from the nasi ulam already, right? So uh, this uh, thick bihun Right, would have been, uh, it's the fresh one that you buy from the wet market. Just quickly scald it and then uh, plunge into cold water. Two handfuls of it, uh, cut it a bit shorter so that the noodles are not so long and then mix this into uh, the salad as well. Now put everything into a rice paper roll. So this is what it looks like. So run the dry Vietnamese rice paper roll in through water and then lay it on a clean plate. Now, I forgot to put in the peppermint leaves into the, in, into the, the salad, but that's okay because we can actually make up for it putting it here. So what I'm doing is I'm just laying it out nicely. Uh, also part of the decoration, not bad, yeah? Okay, and then put a spoonful, Chinese tablespoonful of the salad mixture Place it on top of the mint leaves. Now you want to spread it out a little bit more because we're going to give a little bit of a pattern to it, which is going to be the four wing leaf. So with that, what we want to do is we want to trim off just a little bit enough to kind of set it in the middle. Yeah. So take the edge, roll it over. Yeah. And then roll it over one more time. And so you got this nice pattern that's coming out, but you still have 
uh, all the rice extra going in. So a little bit more and there you go. There you have it, kampong ulam rolls, all ready to be eaten. So what I like to do is to cut it on the diagonal. When you cut it on the diagonal, it becomes like this. And you can see a nice little cross section with the kacang butol four, four wing star coming up. And you see all these lovely little colours, the greens, the oranges and the purples and all that. So it's all ready to be eaten. So you can eat it like this. Or you can eat it with some fresh sambal blachan, which I have another recipe for. So you just take the fresh sambal blachan and you dip in the roll and enjoy yourself. Baby, how are you doing? You want some?